Very good morning to all of you. Uh, today we are going to look at uh, the second part of uh, Unit 3 that's on reference management using uh, EndNote and uh, Mendeley. Uh, just to give you a brief introduction on uh, what EndNote and Mendeley does, there are lots of reference management uh, software available uh, online and uh, around the world. Um, essentially, this software they uh, try to manage our references because when we are looking at research, um, we have lots of references listed in our uh, dissertation research projects. If you're doing a master's, then we have got lots of references listed in our master's dissertation, almost hundreds and hundreds of literature. So you need to manage them, and it's uh, nearly impossible if you do not know how to uh, manage them. EndNote and Mendeley are two most commonly used uh, software to manage the references. Firstly, let us look at EndNote. Um, uh, one advantage of uh, using Mendeley is it's free and you do not need to crack it or purchase it or pay it. However, for EndNote, you need to uh, you need to purchase. That's why uh, if you do not want to pay or purchase, you need to uh, download a crack uh, file, which you need to uh, which you need to crack the file to take the installation. So I've given you the EndNote uh, software three mail. So this is the software which uh, it's in zip. I'll just extract it here. And when I extract it here, I should be getting two uh, things. One is the install itself, and the second one is the patch. So I have uh, unzipped the uh, package now. So I've got uh, EndNote unzipped. Uh, one is the installer and the second one is the patch. So in this tutorial, I'll, I'd like to uh, firstly go on with the installation of uh, uh, EndNote. So for this one, I'd like to uh, install the uh, installation file. So when you reach here, you just uh, like to click out like uh, 30 day uh, free trial. So just click next and next and uh, I accept the license agreement. Uh, typical. All right. That's it. It's going to uh, install now. Right, uh, now you finish the installation of the set of file. I click it finish. And the next thing that you need to do is uh, to copy and paste the patch file. So uh, for this one, go to patch folder, and under this patch folder, uh, you need to uh, you need to copy this one. Uh, you need to copy this one and go to your local text C and go to program files and under this one uh, you have to go to handnote uh, 19 and here uh, you just uh, paste it and just replace the file in this folder Right, so that's it with the uh, uh, installation of a uh, night. Now, after the installation, um, go to the uh, apps that were being installed, and I go to my EndNote at E, and I click the EndNote once. Then I, when I click it, I get to this uh, file. So if you're uh, using it for the first time. Uh, you should be getting a blank file where it will be directing you to uh, create a new library so for that one you need to go to file and you need to uh, create a new library the reason why uh, it's appearing in my case is because i'm already working with the node that's why it's, uh, it's coming 
However, for you to uh, create a new file, you can go to File, go to Create New, and um, uh, then you, you can create your uh, end of library. Library is a folder where um, the files that you have saved, the reference that you have saved, all those files are getting saved in that folder. So basically, you need to create a folder. Do not create a folder where it's a cloud piece, for example, uh, Google Drive or Dropbox or any kind of like online based uh, folder. Now, do not save there. Instead, you can save it in uh, your, uh, your local disk uh, D or uh, one of the, one of the uh, disks in your uh, computer. So, uh, in my case, I have saved it here. Uh, that's uh, in one of the lo uh, local disks. So, uh, I can also uh, save it anywhere else. For example, I can also save it over here. So, once you are uh, saving it, you can save it as uh, the default name is my EndNote library. You can save it in your own name. Then just uh, click save. And when you're uh, clicking on saving, um, uh, the new uh, you can always go to now you can always go to a new uh, library uh, it's not responding in my case but uh, yes so a new blank uh, library will come out now here so from here you can now start you can either uh, create manually the references that uh, you have seen through journal books or internet you can also uh, import uh, references from other uh, reference manager software you can also uh, uh, get it online uh, references for example um, I'm just going to I'm just going to give you some tips on how to exactly your work then uh, I've got another video from EndNote uh, team that will uh, explain exactly how EndNote is being used so uh, the tip is that uh, you can as soon as we uh, install EndNote uh, uh, we can see our EndNote as one of the uh, tab in the world uh, document file there uh, the reason why it's in the wood is that uh, whatever uh, reference that we have in endnote we can always work with the uh, word so for example I, I open a new blank map and this one um, for example I'm opening this one Right, so uh, I've just opened my Word document file. Here, these uh, file to uh, help tabs are the default tab that has been given by the MS Word. But um, I'm seeing again a new tab called as EndNote uh, 19 tab, which is being given by, uh, or which is one of the uh, tabs uh, by default installed in the Word document file. However, please note that for Mendeley, which is also one of the uh, reference management uh, software you will not be getting uh, a default uh, tab or default kind of like uh, uh, an option for uh, Mendeley coming over in Ma uh, Microsoft Word for that one you need to install the plugins from the Mendeley uh, software itself which will be going to uh, uh, which will be going to be dealt uh, uh, after a short point um, so we just have a note over here uh, and that's it for example I can uh, I always write something else over here then I can go to a citation which I can get it from the endnote library that's one thing another thing uh, for example um, if I'm going to go to a uh, web or if I'm going to go to uh, searching of any uh, online based material right so let me go to uh, Brittany's uh, cuisine over here and uh, for example, if I'm doing my research on Botanist Cuisine, uh, I'd like to uh, get some references. Uh, for example, this is the first reference that I see and I feel that this is on uh, minor uh, citrus accession, which I can use it for my research. So I read this paper, I download the PDF and all, and at last, uh, if I need to go to the reference, we have the uh, double inverted comma, uh, that's for site. We have got other details on the citation. I want you all to click on this one and uh, and look at these ones. It has uh, uh, it has the references for MLA, APH, Chicago, Harvard, Vancouver, and uh, some more. And these are being saved in Bitax, Note, Refman, and Refrog. So 
all these formats are uh, the formats weighed by reference management software. For our software, we have got separate for a node, uh, which we can download it over here and just click it once and uh, a file gets downloaded. I'll just click, uh, for example, let's say uh, I can change my name of the download or I can just leave it like that. Uh, just save it. And uh, when I open it, when I open this one, remember it's been written by Pager string at all. And if I, when I open it, um, it's uh, it's very fun because um, uh, the reference directly gets by default added in our import list over here. You can see that. So this is a very interesting trick that EndNote has. And uh, now, uh, if you are writing something else on the board, uh, uh, but these uh, cuisines. Uh, are uh, one of the oldest in the Asian uh, countries uh, then uh, I need uh, a reference over here towards out of the out of this line for example I have taken this line from uh, that reference then I can always go to that note like this and by going to a note uh, it gets back to here or staying on the end note I can always go and give the uh, insert citation so uh, if I click this down in button comma I can always get uh, my citation over here so uh, it's take time right now but uh, it's not usually uh, going to take time so pager at all is uh, coming over here and um, uh, uh, what I see is I also see that uh, people's like uh, pager at all and uh, Al Shami uh, sorry this is not the one that all uh Pager has the reference for the Pager has already come here that's quite interesting and whatever things we do for example now this is being written by Pager and if I see that I again need some more uh, for example uh, settlement resettlement but this refugee all right so I just uh, take it okay and I just click it and it gets uh, it gets again uh, I just save it and the download I can click it directly click open and here what I see is again uh, the the next paper on the resettlement part and the produce cuisine is getting added to my reference list so this is my Gandhi uh, Sanjuani so I can always uh, again uh, I could go to vote directly from here I can go to vote directly from here and I can write that uh, however the uh, cuisines in the uh, refugee uh, camps are not changing so uh, if this is been uh, written from the people that I've just referred I can go back to it again and I can either click alt alt 2 on the keyboard or directly uh, click this one and again uh, it comes over here and remember that uh, the reference that we have just used comes over here Gati. so this al shami it's coming because i have already in my reference list that's why it's coming over here but um, the good thing about this one is again uh, that all our uh, references are by coming by default uh, and again we can change the reference system by uh, here for example if you want in chicago we can always do that and we see that our in text citation and the reference also gets uh, changed for example look at here the comma got uh, deleted all the italics and the, the journal uh, article numbers uh, uh, specifically the volume number and issue number are not being, uh, shown over here we can also change in uh, different file formats uh, mre ha just author date you can also do that and uh, we can also edit our uh, index citation from uh, by just click once and you can also right click it and go to edit file field or you can also go to uh, go to edit and manage citation over here and you can also do that by adding a prefix you know, whether you want author year or author or year or author in year and all those things like and do it from here so that's it on uh, and from my side I'm continuing this a video lecture by adding a video presentation by uh, uh, EndNote team on this one. Uh, please have a look at, look at this one.
How to use EndNote in 6 minutes. This video will give you a fast start on using EndNote. It will show you how to create an EndNote library, two ways to import a reference from an online database using PubMed as an example, how to create a custom group and add references to it, how to use Find Full Text to download PDFs for references, how to insert a reference in a Word document, how to format a bibliography using the APA style as an example, how to add page numbers to a citation. To create an EndNote library, select New from the File menu. EndNote will name the library My EndNote Library, but the name can be changed. Do not save it in any cloud syncing folders, such as those for Dropbox, Google Drive, or OneDrive. Syncing folders such as these will corrupt the EndNote library over time. Also, do not save it to a network drive. EndNote library should be kept on your computer's hard drive. Click the Save button to save the new library. The first method of importing is online search. In EndNote, click the Online Search Mode button. Select the online database you want to search. There are thousands more available. These are just the most popular ones. Build your search. Click the Search button to perform the search. Click the OK button. Select the references you want in the list. Click the Copy to Local Library button. Click the Local Library Mode button to see the contents of your EndNote library. The references you just copied are shown in the Temporary Copied References group. To create a permanent group for your references, select Create Group from the Groups menu. Enter the name of your group and press Enter. Select the references to add to the new group and drag them into the group. Another method of importing references is direct export. I am going to import some references from PubMed as an example, but this method can be used with many other online databases. I am using Firefox for this example because it supports direct export on both the Windows and Macintosh platforms. Direct export will also work with Internet Explorer, Microsoft Edge, and Google Chrome. Perform your search of the online database in your browser. Select the references you want to import. For PubMed, mark the references to select them. Click the Send To link, then select Citation Manager. The link or button to start direct export may be called different things by different data providers. Look for something that talks about saving, exporting, or importing references. If offered a choice of formats, select the one that mentions EndNote or RIS. For PubMed, selecting Citation Manager will save it in the correct format for direct export. Click Create File. Firefox will ask if you want to open the file and what program you want to open it with. Select EndNote. Click the OK button. Click the OK button. If the database is set up for direct export, the references will import right into EndNote. The new references are shown in the Imported References Temporary Group. Drag the new references to the permanent group they should belong to. To have EndNote try to find the PDFs for references, select the References, then click the Find Full Text button. If EndNote is able to find the PDFs, you will see paperclip icons appear by the references. After a reference is in the EndNote library, it can be added to a Word document. In Word, click where you want to put an EndNote citation. Then click the Go to EndNote button. Select the reference or references you want to insert. Click the Insert Citation button. The reference is inserted into your paper and instantly formatted. To change the style, click the tiny arrow in the bottom right corner of the bibliography group. Select the style from the list of favorites. If your favorite style is not showing, you can use the Browse button to see more styles. 
click the OK button. To add page numbers to a citation, click on the citation, then click the Edit and Manage Citations button. Add page numbers to the Pages field, then click the OK button. EndNote can do a lot more than this. If you would like to learn more, there are many training resources available in the EndNote LibGuide.